morning, good afternoon, good evening. Uh, my name is Ono Purbo. Thank you very much for the opportunity to share uh, some of our work in this conference. The current work is called A Proposed E-Learning Offline Solution for Rural and Villages. It is actually a collaboration approach with many of my friends at Open University, Universitas Terbuka, Professor Daryono, Professor Matoha, Dikinian, Pak Mustari, Pak Randi Matias, Pak Nur Azmi Prasetyo. So we have collaboration to build this thing, okay? E-learning offline solution for rural and villages. Uh, why we built these things? It's very simple reason. If we look at the npref.com uh, network report this is the uh, current network coverage of telecom cell telecom cell is, is the largest cellular network in Indonesia it's clearly show we have a lot of playing spots in many of our islands Java looks like covered by uh, 4G or 3G signal but in reality if we zoom in so we zoom in and look at the uh, the uh, south part of the island so we can see a lot of blank spot in this especially the south part of the island uh, in the north part it's we basically covered by 2g 4g uh, signals but in reality many of this part uh, have a lot of uh, blank signals so we desperately need solution uh, especially for school as well as uh, student at open university to learn online while there is no signals so basically how can we can access the uh, knowledge offline okay so the solution we propose is internet offline solution basically uh, it is something like this so we copy all the web content video e-learning content anything uh, to a hard disk or sd card or whatever and put it a local server one of the option we can use uh, raspberry pi which is very small or we can use mini pc which is used by uh, open U university right now is a mini pc system so it can uh, hold more storage it can hold more students to access the uh, content and having the content locally in the server we can then share it through uh, wa local wi-fi uh, then student can access through this local wi-fi uh, basically we have three different function in the system uh, that's uh, that is those who collect the uh, content, those who operate the uh, sorry, to operate the system, so collect the content from the internet, uh, managing the e-learning content and course and whatever. So this this is the one team. The other team is how, uh, the one that operates the uh, system, and the last one is the student and local teachers or tutor that uh, help the student to learn locally this system can be disconnected from the internet so it's basically offline internet offline solution for school uh, in rurals okay uh, more detail uh, system is as follows so we can have the uh, server uh, internet offline server we can build a local Wi-Fi hotspot so those who are locally uh, uh, very local distance to the server can access the server using local Wi-Fi or we can build a longer distance Wi-Fi uh, for those uh, who live far away from the system far away means like two kilometers three kilometers from the system so we can build something like uh, Wi-Fi network long distance Wi-Fi network so student can access through this network okay optionally if there is a slight 
uh, 3G, 4G signals. We can put uh, modem like MiFi modem. So the, the whole system can be connected to the internet. Uh, but having a local system, internet offline system, it's more beneficial because there is no access to pornographic sites, uh, any distracting content uh, is basically unreachable. So all the content will be very positive content for education only. So this is more beneficial. Okay. Now, uh, to give you some idea on the uh, server, uh, basically, we use Moodle. Uh, maybe I can show you a little bit. So basically, we use Moodle for the e-learning server. Okay. Moodle for the e-learning server. You can download Moodle for free. Okay. Uh, oops. Checks for couch. <laughs> I'm a human. Okay. Basically, can uh, access for free. The other one, what we are interested in is Kiwix. QX is an open source offline web browser for accessing Wikipedia. So basically Wikipedia, we can copy all the content of Wikipedia and put it offline in the server. So the Wikipedia content can be accessed by the student while uh, offline. They don't have to access through the internet. Okay. Now, uh, to give you some idea on how to... Uh, so the content is basically like that and then we have PDF, uh, video and so on, put it in the server. So to give you some idea on how to access the uh, system uh, through long distance network, uh, we have we are in process in building the books, uh, writing the books on Internet offline. And then uh, to give you some example, we have... Uh, doing some case study on building the internet offline for example in Jasinga we can for example these are the uh, uh, GPS coordinate of the uh, students of Open University so these are the student of Open University and for example we can put the uh, local server in this school this is the uh, junior high school uh, state junior high school number two in Jasinga. This is primary school Jasinga one and Sukamana three. And these are the GPS coordinate. For example, we can put the uh, server in this coordinate, and then we can go to the uh, uh, website to design. The design process is very simple. This are this is only give you some idea how can we design these things. So we put the uh, coordinate of this at this school. We can zoom in if you like. Uh, okay, we can zoom in. Okay, this is we can put point to multi point uh, radio, which is an omnidirectional antenna. So this is the uh, high school, and we can change the uh, radio using. Uh, different type of radio which is 2.4 gigahertz and we are using bullet which is omnidirectional antenna and then we can see the signals the the coverage of the uh, signals okay now our next steps is just uh, put the uh, sorry. where is the oh so this one <laughs> it's uh, where is it okay this one we can put the uh, coordinate of the uh, student here okay change the student this coordinate into student coordinate and then it can show you that this particular student can be connected to the system and we can always put the other student coordinate to the system and we have to check one by one for each student if it is if it is possible to connect to the system so if we, as we can see clearly these two students can be connected very easy to the system because the uh, line is uh, green so it's clear connection there is no obstacles no mountain no hill 
so it's can connect it very easy the speed is about 153 megabit per second the distance is about six uh, six seven hundred meters so it's very easy this one also same about 700 meters it can connect it to the system we can we can do this thing for all the students so we can make sure that all students can connect to the system very easy and smoothly so the the uh, training process the education process the learning process can be done very smoothly the content is local in the the local schools and the student is basically uh, open university student can access the system uh, very smoothly as well the total cost of the system is not that very exp it's not very expensive uh, some of some of the equipment can be bought uh, very easy in Indonesia oh, not some actually all the component can be bought locally in Indonesia so we can build the system locally okay the the same system is now a eh, the the documentation of the system is in writing process so we're writing a uh, books on it and as well as we have put the uh, we're developing an uh, online course on how to build the internet offline system uh, at, at the moment still in my campus Institute of Technology Tangerang Selatan but after this finish after the online course finish we put it we, uh, we will put it in the uh, open university server so hopefully many school or in Indonesia can adopt this technology and we can have an online solution for free basically for the students I, we hope uh, it will benefit Open University as well as many schools in Indonesia to provide uh, education, low-cost education for all Indonesian students. Thank you very much.